Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today we're going to be counting down the 11 most common wild edible plants according to the size of their range and the number of species. Let's get right into it. The Rumex family, or Doc as they're otherwise known, is very common in the world of wild edible and medicinal plants. These ancient relatives to buckwheat have a popularity as food and medicine and are commonly eaten for their greens. Other uses include, but are not limited to, flour from the seeds, salads, cooked greens, and vegetables from the root of some species. Commonly found growing in waste places, the brown seed spikes are a common sight in late summer and early fall and are easily gathered for their food uses. A popular and well-known edible plant most commonly known for the condiment that it produces, although some may not be aware that canola oil even comes from the species of a mustard. Mustards are comprised of several genuses, including Brassica, Calpina, Coyencia, Descurania, Sicimbrium, and Delipodiopsis. The popular garlic mustard is known as Aliaria and shares many uses with other mustards including condiments, dressings, and greens. Usually found along the edges of fields and roadsides, these common yellow and white flowered plants are also very high in nutritional value. The rose is a beautiful thorny vine that is well known for being a gift to loved ones or used in funeral events. Many are also aware of the uses for hips as food and medicine, however the leaves of many species and the flowers are usable too. Many may not know that rose hips and flowers also contain a high amount of vitamin C. The Rosa genus comprises approximately 100 species throughout the United States and most of Canada. Their range seems to be limited to the southern and central parts of Canada, however, their use for ornamental purposes and their prevalence in the wild definitely earns them a place on this list. Ah, the lowly dandelion. Where would we be without this plant? Usually considered the bane of a lawn and garden and a pest of homeowners everywhere, Though there are many species of the common dandelion, or Taraxacum officinal is the one that you are probably most familiar with. However, distinguishing it from another dandelion species would in most cases take a professional botanist. Genuses include, but are not limited to, Taraxacum, Crigia, Leontodon, and Melcothrix. The number of varieties are low, the range of the dandelion, its ability to not die easily, and its prevalence in lawn and gardens earns this plant number 8 on the list. Frequently misblamed for late summer allergies, these plants will completely cover old fields with their bright yellow floral displays. The goldenrod has several food uses, namely teas, but dried flowers can be used as a flower extender in harsh times. An approximate 100 species exist in the United States and Canada across several genuses including Solidago, Oligoneuron, Petrodoria, and Bigelowis. Their coverage in fields can be so thick that it will appear that's all the field is. Combine this with the fact that they flower at the same time as the ragweeds, the plant that's really causing your summer allergies, and it makes sense why people blame the goldenrod instead. The mint family is unique in its own ways, namely for the distinct smells that these plants emit, but also because it is one of the largest families in the world of plants. A distinct feature of mints is their square stem, but just because a plant has a square stem does not make it a mint. There are also plants in this family that do not smell like mint, making it sometimes near impossible for a beginner to know if some plants are in the mint family or not. They are commonly used for flavoring desserts, making teas, medications, and even purification rituals in some cultures. A complex and widely distributed family of plants that many people see but are not aware that they are edible. Many have an acrid peppery taste and have uses ranging from greens, asparagus-like vegetables, salads, and even rope from some species. Some commonly seen species include ladies thumb, Japanese knotweed, and Pennsylvania smartweed. One good thing is all polygonums are reported to be edible. However, palatability may be an issue with some people due to their pepperiness in some species and bitterness in other species. These beautiful springtime flowers are common in lawns, gardens, parks, and low-lying areas and everywhere else in between. Though viola is the most common genus, there are others like erythronium and hodoidus. Some common food uses for violets include salads, cooked greens, which are a waste of time if you ask me, teas, and candies. They're high in vitamins A and C and make a delicious, healthy addition to any springtime salad. The flower colors, however, are not always a deep violet color that you would associate with violets as is the case in the arctic yellow violet. Though the clovers range is smaller than some others on this list, their number of species and the way they will often cover an entire lawn make them number three on this list. Most people are familiar with their uses as tea or medicine, however many are not aware that their leaves, though hard to digest raw, are also high in protein, something many think is uncommon in the plant world, which this is not the case. However, there are also clovers that can even provide vanilla-like flavorings like the white sweet clover or Melilotus alba. Surprisingly, the 
dried seeds and flowers of some species can also make a nutritious flower extender as well. A tall, long-living tree that produces a well-loved food for animals and humans alike, acorns have long been a staple food for cultures all across the globe and next to corn was one of the most important foodstuffs for natives in most of the Americas. Though the acorn is the primary foodstuff from the oak, the young leaves of white oaks can also be eaten in small quantities in salads. They also add a unique bitterness as well. And the tannic acid in oaks, which is usually responsible for tannins and alcohols like whiskey and wine, is a powerful astringent. Rubus contains species like raspberries, blackberries, and dewberries and comprises the most common wild edible group due to the astonishing number of different species that grow here. Frequently known as brambles, some are native, many are introduced, and most, if not all, are edible. They can be found across the entirety of the United States, Canada, Greenland, and the Arctic Circle, so no matter where you live, you can enjoy their delicious jams and jellies anytime. Along with providing fruits, many brambles are also medicinal, most notably the raspberry. I thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about wild edible plants, make sure to subscribe. Also, I'll put a link to the original pictures down in the description below if you want to check those out as well.